my I god. I hate when bitches assume shit. I'm going to fucking kiss Shilish. I hate graves. They discuss me. What they be saying. <laughs> Hello, welcome to FP, uh, FPS's cool little salad bar. Uh, I grew miners. Drink this roofie so I can groom you. It's the best video of all time. Uh huh. I don't even know what any of that is like. Really, I know like Trucker Conroy or Gloom Inc or something, but I, I have no idea what any of the, those memes are like. That's Major Klug, I think. I think he's an artist and, you know, Sugar Conroy's the guy who made cool Nintendo videos and uh, solicits feet pics from people. You sent that to me the other day, you were like, Damien and Sugar Conroy's a pedophile, and I was like, I don't know who that is. I thought you would, you're a big Nintendo guy, I thought you'd know the big Nintendo YouTuber. I'm a big Nintendo head, I watch Nintendo videos. Do, I mean. do, do you watch like Alpha Rad or something? I no, love Alpha Rad. I, I love don't. that guy. And you should watch Sugar Conroy. I think he'd I think he'd be the right fit <laughs> for you. I don't I'm, think he's done anything in the last ten years, so Anyway, I'm Damien. I'm joined with Aiden and Silas. Uh, I'm just not us. so Damien. This is us again. I think this is the first time that we've had a, a two podcasts in a row with the same cast of characters. Probably, yeah. We yeah, it was like, uh, just us last week, huh? We, we usually schmix it up. But everyone's busy. Everyone's busy playing basketball and going to work and stuff like that. Their jobs and obligations, like losers. <laughs> Not us. We uh we play Minecraft and uh, just wait until the next time we do stuff. Play Minecraft to cook some raw fish. Because uh, let's it see. Smells really do nasty. All right. So last time we talked about our trip stuff. Uh, do we have any cool little things to start out with? Anything that's happened since the last time we recorded? I got contact high. Oh yeah, you should talk about your contact. Aiden, high. Aiden teased this last night. He was like, "Guys, I think, I think I might, I think I might be under the influence. I think I got contact high." And we were like, "I didn't say it like that." We were was, like, "Can you elaborate?" And he's like, "No." Was, and he it, went to bed. It was I, the biggest twist since who shot Mr. Burns. Uh huh. I, so, uh, last night at two o'clock in the morning, uh, my coworkers were like, "Hey, Aiden, you want to come hang out with us and like play cards?" I'm like, "Okay." I thought they were just playing cards, so I show up, and, uh, they were smoking weed. <laughs> three of them were on shrooms and stoned. Only two of them were just stoned. But, uh, we're in, like, their, like, garage shed place, right? No ventilation. Uh, so, basically, everything they've been smoking is just fucking circulating. So, that's why I'm pretty sure I was contact high, because, like, my head was feeling a bit, a bit lightheaded, mm -hmm. and, uh, Mm -hmm. What was and the wor then, what was the worst thing you did last night, Aiden? <laughs> what did you do? Aiden's got a big evil um, Grinch grin on his face right now. Uh, no, I just I just <laughs> I barely remember last night. His eyes like uh, made dinging sounds like old cartoons. They turn red, and then you see white text that says "evil." The evilest thing I did last night. I went to a place at, at seven o'clock to get food that opened at seven o'clock. You're so crazy. That was evil. <laughs> I can't believe you would torture people who, like, you know, get up early for their job. All I know is that was some that was some good ass food, and I went to sleep immediately after. The last time I was at a party, and they made me take a hit of a bong rip, and I coughed, I coughed like a little bit the whole time. I was for like the next ten minutes, I had to like sit down. The best part about having asthma is that you get so used to coughing, you learn how to you learn how to lock in and just not cough yeah, that, whenever mm -hmm. that stuff happens. Uh -huh. That plus uh, tuba experience, you you can hold your breath a long time. If you try to drown me, it will take a little bit longer. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Minecraft stories, but I don't want to do that right I now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've already talked about our Minecraft stories. No, we we were gonna do more. Because we, we talked about a few. I can't think of any. We talked about our Minecraft stories together. Not my cool little escapades across different worlds. I'm pretty sure we have. I don't remember talking about it across other servers I've been on. I you, ta ta you talked about um, the, like... Olympic stage you made one or the the I talked about that one but there's there there's there's a plethora I don't know I, we were gonna talk about something about that but uh I was gonna suggest why don't we uh, do the script writing thing see uh, how that goes exp 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 
Go, 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 go on, tell us about it. <laughs> all right, so the idea is that we eat, we're we're all we're all cool little script writers. We we're forced in a room by fucking Fox Studio. Uh huh. And uh, we need a we, we need to write the, ter- the next Family Guy. Episode. Yes, the next Family Guy episode. We each take turns writing an episode for, for Family Guy. For start to friend, yeah, we could do it for Family Guy. From start to finish, and uh, we each take turns writing a scene, and we have to, you know, we put all of our cool jokes in there, whatever. Uh, so I guess it's gonna be about the new Family Guy episode. We should agree on a plot. What's the plot? I'll start. Okay. Um. So this is the this is the cold open, right? Uh. The the, the guy the guys are are uh. It's it's a jump cut out to the, to the clam, right? That's yeah. the the guys the guys are the guys are at the bar and he goes, Hey Cleveland, what, what, have you ever had any weird experiences with the KKK? There was it. Wait. <laughs> How are we doing this? Maybe it's your turn. Well, I was... How does he talk? He, he talks like that. That's good. That's pretty good. Well, Peter, there was this one time I was walking around, and um, I was just minding my own business, and then... Um, uh, God, your story sucks. Look, <laughs> baseball. And then they look up to the screen, and uh, baseball is playing. So that's what happens. Uh, Babe Ruth comes back from the dead. He crawls out of the ground like a fucking zombie, and then... Uh, uh, he he hits a home run, and it uh, it goes so far. It goes all the way across the the uh, the world, and it hits Peter in the back of the head into the clam, knocking him out cold. It seems today that all you see is that the stylish movies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do cold <laughs> opens like that. I'm all right with it though. <laughs> the, that- the cold opens at the fucking. He asks about the KKK, and then he immediately gets knocked out. All right, now we're now we jump cut to the hospital. Uh, Peter's uh, in a coma. Um, in his head, he's transported to that of the Minecraft universe. He's like, "Holy crap, am I in Minecraft right now? This is freaking sweet." And he, he's like, "I freaking love Minecraft. I know exactly what to do." So he starts <laughs> mining some trees to get some wood. If you catch my drift, so that's what happens next. He punches the tree, and then he realizes just because he's in Minecraft doesn't mean he has Minecraft <laughs> powers. His fist immediately breaks, and he goes, Ah! Ah! It's not like real Minecraft! Ah! Ah, uh, Steve made this look so much easier! <laughs> his, his fingers are mangled, and then uh, Minecraft Alex comes in. He says, Here, Peter, uh, take this. And she throws a potion of healing. He's like, Wow, thank you, lady. Whoa, Alex, Minecraft. All right, Aiden, your turn. And then Jump cuts back out into the actual hospital. Dr. Harvey goes, he has two days to live. Oh, my God. My husband, Peter Griffin, is in a coma. Can, is there anything that we can do for him? He has two days to live. Oh, yeah, you did just say that. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and, and Stewie's like, finally, the fat man. He's going to fucking die. And Brian's like, don't you feel a little bit bad, though? And then Stewie... And then, That's your father. That's your father, dog. You could make a a machine to to go into his brain and save him. And, and the, Stewie's like, "Oh, I do feel a little bit bad, I suppose." So, I, so, I I wouldn't want to get stuck with mom. I wouldn't want to be stuck with Lois all day. <laughs> so now, so now, so, so Stewie makes a machine, and him and Brian go into Minecraft. Yes, yes. this is not a story about Peter. This is a this new Into the Multiverse. No, story. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. This is. Oh, I have a genius idea. All right. So they get to the Minecraft world, they go into Peter's brain, they get to the Minecraft world, and everything's, like, destroyed, it's, like, fucked up, and there's, like, <laughs> there's different, like, Peter flags all over the, all over the place, like, like a, like a regime took over, and it's, uh, like... Oh, what happened, what happened, what happened here? Well, it seems like the fat man is just full of himself, I don't know, and then they and walk then, around... And then Alex from Minecraft walks up and he goes, Help! Help! Fucking Peter's me fucking killing everything! <laughs> Peter already has creative mode. He's he's going around. He has the white <laughs> eyes like Harold. <Herobrine. laughs> I am Harold Peter. <laughs> That's the sound he makes when he flies by. He just goes. <laughs> you, can, you can see you can see him like uh, using world edit and shit. He's like making like entire villages into like command blocks for fun. And uh, you see like this big like uh, bedrock and obsidian like castle in the distance. It's like uh, it's like Mar- it's like Bowser's castle from the Mario movie. Yeah, what's that one place? What's that one place you guys made in Rain's World that one time? No, 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 no,
<laughs> He'll make a Minecraft one. <laughs> he makes a Minecraft version. Uh, and then there. Uh, Stewie, what are we gonna uh, do? Your freaking Peter's uh, making a, a muck of this Minecraft world. Well, it appears because we're the Minecraft world, we're gonna have to do the one thing that may we need to beat the Minecraft game. <laughs> beat the Minecraft game? Isn't it a sandbox? Actually, Brian. <laughs> actually, Brian, if you'd actually played the game for more than five minutes back when it was popular, actually, yeah, you know, it's like one of those. Update one point zero four, <laughs> not added the Ender Dragon, which signifies the end of the game because of the credits. Yeah, it's some, it's some like um, topi says, topical meme like that. It's like you were only into it when Dream was into it. That's it, and then you were into it for like a week. So if you would have played it more, then you would. have... <laughs> You, you only watched like ten minutes of the of the of the, of the manhunt. You didn't you didn't watch the full thing. Jeez, Brian. That's, I mean, Stewie. That's freaking um. That's freaking mean. <laughs> well, let's let's get going now. I, I, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to beat this Ender Dragon. And, and then and then you just hear. It's like a, a, it's a, yeah, it's a yeah. For a while, it's like a cool montage of them. And then uh, Peter, Peter, uh, yeah, cut, yeah, cut to Peter. Uh, he's a uh, he's uh, the he's watching them in the Nether. He pops out of uh, out behind like uh, he's like he peers out behind from like some like cobblestone or something like uh, like uh, Bowser at the beginning of Hotel Mario. And he's like, these guys are going to destroy my Minecraft world. <laughs> I need to send. I, I need to send in the freaking big guns and 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 what what does he say? He sends in. He sends in. Uh, he the, spawns in the Weather Storm from Minecraft. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say that. <laughs> it spawns in the Nether. And then Brian's like, what? What the fuck is that, Stewie? The Weather Storm. <laughs> Run! <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fucking funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, we're on hardcore mode. If we die, we die for real. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. If you would have told me that earlier, I would have freaking uh, been a little bit more careful. You see, you see Stewie like speed bridging like fucking crazy, and Brian's like going one block at a time. I want, uh, there's a scene where uh, Stewie's uh, speed bridging, and it's just rotoscoped uh, Bed Wars footage. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> and then, um, and then they get to the nether portal, but a gas accidentally destroyed the nether portal, so they have to find a different Oh, uh, what are we going to do now, Stewie? It's like, how are we, we don't have a, I didn't bring another flint and steel, I used it all to cook our food. And it's like, well, it looks like the only way we're going to have to do this is if we, if we find a bastion. So they go find a bastion, and then, uh, what happens next? <laughs> what do they find in the bastion? They find pigs worshipping a golden Peter statue. It's the it's the golden Peter coin from Fortnite. <laughs> There's piles and piles of the golden Peter coin all over the place. It's like what the hell? Uh, Brian's like what the hell is all this? Is this like uh, it's like is this from that one game? It's like, like, yes, it's from that one game. Yes, is it Brian. from Fortnite, Brian. It seems that Peter's installed the Fortnite mod. What that you know what that means? They open a chest, guns. They get There's guns. guns inside, golden scars. Stewie has a golden the scar. Works. And then uh, Brian has a has a cool uh, has a cool pickaxe. And, and Brian says the one thing that he knows about Minecraft. He's like, I thought Notch got rid of guns in Minecraft. <laughs> no one says anything. <laughs> <laughs> it holds out for like ten seconds of them like looking at each other. Um, and yeah, and then it comes. Uh, they get back to the uh, the uh, the Nether portal and the Wither Storm. It's hot on the trail. And uh, uh, Stewie's like, Brian, light the portal. All right, all right, all right. And he's like, he's, he, it's like one of those long, like one minute long jokes where he's trying to. He's like, oh, I'm frick, oh, any any minute now. Hold on. He's like, um, uh, could you go any faster? It's like this is freaking hard. Give me, give me, a, give me a second. I I didn't I didn't go to Boy Scouts, okay. <laughs> it's like it's like you see some sparks, but they're not going on there. And then finally, <sighs> they, they, and then they finally go in, and then they jump. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Before before they before they light up the portal. Um, the wither the wither storm gets super close to them, but what happens is Alex from Minecraft distracts the wither storm. She's like, she's like, you guys go without me. I'm gonna I'm gonna distract the wither storm. And she runs off shooting at it, causing it to run towards her. She sacrifices herself <laughs> for 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 Stewie and Brian. They they get to the other side of the portal. There's a creeper uh, on the other side, and he's got one of like the you know like the, the Family Guy mouth where it's like the like the chin <laughs> with the thing. That's his that's his face. And he's like, geez, I I would I would hate to have been that lady. <laughs> That's what the creeper says. And it, then we cut back to Peter. He's wa he's watching them on his <clears throat> on his cool screen, on his cool uh, redstone uh, redstone uh, computer. Uh huh. That's like six million blocks wide. He's pe he's petting he's petting a cat that he that he tamed with a piece of fish. 
It's like, well, I see they got the blaze rods, but will they get the pearls? Because <laughs> they didn't have enough time to trade with the but village. Hey, 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 hey. And then they were like, oh, this is bad. How are we going to get a pearl? And then they see an Enderman. And then they uh, they do a bit where like they they're sneaking up on it. It's just like quiet. They're just like sneaking up on it. And then uh, the Enderman turns around, and is like, oh hey. And they're like, oh uh, hi. <laughs> no 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 no. It's like it's like it's like, it's like uh, they, they like walk up to it and they and they uh, and he sees him and he goes, oh man, what the fuck? What are you guys doing here? What 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 do you guys want from me? He gets on his hands and he's like, please don't fucking hurt me. Uh, whoa 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 whoa. It's it it, it uh. Wait. It's, it's cool, it's cool. It's don't cool. fucking rob me, man! Don't stop! I don't have any pearls, man! I don't have any pearls! God, fuck I feel, off. Ba I feel bad, Stewie. This doesn't feel right. Yeah, I know, Brian. This this, this does feel kind of effed Stop up. trying to rob me, you bastards! What's wrong? Evil wife against me! Should I just, like, fucking, like, shoot him in the head or some bullshit? No, no, no! Please don't! Please, please! No, God. Brian. Everybody knows that you can't kill Enderman with projectiles. You're gonna have to use your sword. <laughs> 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 Wait, you're saying it. Wait, so, like... Hey, this is gonna be drawn out, Stewie. This, this, this is not gonna end quickly. I guess you're just gonna. I guess it's just gonna be slow and painful. I don't know. <laughs> he goes, please, please, no, please! I have a wife and kids. And then Brian starts. Uh, Brian, ah! Brian cuts up the cuts up the Enderman like a like an ISIS member killing like a like a journalist. No, Jump cuts to Brian being covered in black ooze, and he's like, it's like, well, th that was unpleasant. <laughs> Whoa, that's a boy. Whoa, what, what, who's, who's leg do I got a hump to get some Ender pearls around here? <laughs> They get all the ender pearls and they uh, they shoot them in the air. Or Brian throws them all at once by accident and they all break. Uh, Damn it, Brian! What are we going to do now? We have to go back to the nether, and then we're gonna have to get more ender pearls. That's when that's when a figure crests the the nearby hillside. The sun illuminating them. You can only see their shadow. They start stepping down the hill toward Brian and Stewie. Who is it? It's Steve. Steve Minecraft. They got He's Steve Minecraft. So I was like taking a nap, and then I saw my whole world got fucked. Shit, fucked. What the hell happened? He's got, he's got the, he's like voiced by Seth MacFarlane, so he sounds like all the like extras, you know. <laughs> he sounds like Brian for like a T. No, it's like the, it's like, it's like the, the, the voice that they do for like all the random guys. It's like, yeah. hey guys, what are you, what are you guys doing right? You know, <laughs> it's like that one. They, uh, they get uh, Jason Momoa, who's gonna play Steve in the Minecraft movie, to voice him <laughs> early, so they can put a copyright on it. Uh, uh, they enlist Steve's help, and he's like, "Oh, I got tons of eyes of Ender." And then they go to the stronghold. They're get, uh, they make it there. And, and he's like, "Hey, have you guys seen Alex anywhere, by the way?" Um, uh, no, no, ha we haven't. Uh, <laughs> I was just, no, I, I was just wondering where she went because, like, I, I, I woke up and she was just, she was just, it wasn't in my bed anymore. Oh, I, 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 no, we don't, we haven't. Alex, who? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, you guys have, you guys have fun in the end. I guess I'm gonna go look for Alex in the uh, meantime. It, good. Uh, good, good luck. <laughs> should, should, should we tell him? No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> they uh, <laughs> they go to the they go to the end portal. They fill up all the frames and they jump in. And then as soon as they uh, get into the end, Peter's already there. I've been waiting for you two. Hey, <laughs> the, the Ender Dragon's already slain. Turns out the final boss is uh, is Hero Peter. It's Hero Peter, and uh, <laughs> Peter Brian. And then uh, he. Let's see what, what's a funny thing. He throws dragon's breath and it uh, it traps Stewie, and then uh, Brian uh, he hooks up a redstone machine and he flies off the end island to get an elytra. Brian, don't leave me! I'll be right back. I'll be right back, Stewie. You can. <laughs> Peter starts begins to fly toward Stewie at an incredible speed, about to deal the the final blow. But then a, a figure, like lightning, strikes down in between them, holding, <laughs> holding Peter's fist. It's another, none other than Notch Minecraft. He stopped Peter. He says, "I will stop you and put you in your place. I'm gonna ban you from this server." <laughs> no. And then he pulls out a hammer. And then it says "ban" on it. He pulls out the ban hammer, <clears throat> and it's a slow motion swing. <laughs> It, 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 uh, it kills Peter just like Minecraft, and then uh, <laughs> and then uh, Stewie and Brian are like, "Oh, thanks. no, no, no!" Brian, Brian comes back fully decked out, netherite. He has like a trident. He has like an elytra. <laughs> he, he actually got good at the game. Yeah, he's I like, can I can speed bridge now. I can you know. He's like, "What I what I miss, Stewie? I, I, did you beat Peter by by yourself?" <laughs> well, it, it, he's like, "Brian, how'd you do that?" <laughs> Brian. Uh. <laughs> 
uh, the not, uh, they're like, thank you, Nosh, for saving the day, and it's like, anything for my, uh, anything for my players. Now, just don't go on my Twitter account. Just like, whatever you do, do not go on there. Just don't look at it. Hard, hard cut back to the real world. Uh, s- not just six billion pounds, and he's uh, he's uh, he's typing, he's typing that I hate all the trans and all the Jews. No, 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 on his no, 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 uh, big no. cool CRT TV. Uh, turns out Notch actually came into the machine like after Stewie and Brian, so he like walks out of the machine, uh, and, like walks away. Like, where are you gonna go now, <laughs> now Notch? They're out there outside like the front house. He's like, wherever the wind takes me. And he wherever goes, a mine con doesn't need its original game creator, I will not be there. <laughs> He, go- <laughs> he walks into the street and gets hit by a car. <laughs> like the fucking brought you and Brian? Yeah. I was going to say that uh, uh, it cuts to him in real life. Uh, what he did was that uh, he got into a computer, or uh, got into a bathtub, filled it up with water, and dropped a computer <laughs> with Minecraft playing and committed suicide. Now he's forever tied to the game world. Holy shit. God. He deserves it. He's fine. <laughs> he yep. deserves it. He's fine. <laughs> that sick fuck has a like, fucking candy room in his mansion. Do you have one of those, Aiden? I don't know what that is. Just a room full of candy. I don't have a candy room. The final scene of the episode is um, the family's all sitting around in the living room. It's like, geez, that was a freaking wicked coma. I don't know what the... I don't, like, I don't remember anything. That was freaking wild. No, he goes, oh, I wonder what happened to that, that zombie Babe Ruth. And he just, he's just out there starting the next zombie apocalypse. <laughs> and, 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 then, and, then, and then Peter and, and, I mean, Stewie and Brian look at each other and they're like... I don't know, they say something like, we don't get any credit, but at least we saved the day, huh? And he's like, yeah, I guess so. And we, learned a, and we learned a little bit about Minecraft all the while. And they look out the window, and they see a zombie apocalypse. And then uh, the... <laughs> I was going to say, in the final, in the final scene, dream, uh, uh, Brian's wearing like a dream mask. He's starting to get really into Minecraft. Yeah, this game's actually pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> I, got, uh, uh, I gotta say. <laughs> Last scene is uh, with uh, him with the family uh, playing Minecraft Manhunt uh, 1 Brian versus the Griffins. <laughs> <laughs> and it slowly zooms out to see that the world is being taken over by Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth zombies and then and then text appears on sque- screen the end question mark and then the, the episode ends. <laughs> That's the most fucking autistic episode <laughs> we've fucking ever written. That was pretty badass though, you gotta admit. <laughs> I think if... I think if Family Guy aired that. I think, <laughs> I think they would lose all of their current um, fans, but I think they would gain equal new ones. That'd be that'd be the end of that Family Guy era. That that create a new era of Family Guy. A new era of Family Guy. <clears throat> How realistic was that to the Family Guy show? Do you think? Guys, if we get one million likes on this episode, we will animate this. We will voice animate <laughs> this. It's fucking like. 15 minutes long that'd be expensive <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a short episode of Family Guy we're gonna have to air like 15 minutes of ads in the time slot yeah <laughs> all at once <laughs> it's the cold open and then 15 minutes of ads and then you get to watch the actual episode <laughs> so no one's there by the time it starts yeah <laughs> no one watches it it's the least watched episode of Family Guy ever Want to write another script? No. <laughs> that was a good the first time. I, that I don't was, think we're gonna be able to top that. We will never do this again. Never. I don't. I, I don't know why we went immediately to that. Because you, you said you said Fox, and then we were like Family Guy, Family Guy, Family Guy. And you wanted to bring it somewhere dark. You were talking about the KKK and stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that's how the episode starts. <laughs> Hey, hey, Cleveland, have you ever had any counter? Cleveland's like, uh, uh, um, what did you uh, want? What did you want out of that, Aiden? Did you want, like, a recreation of, like, Django with, like, Cleveland? Cleveland? I don't know. I don't really don't know where I was going with this, <laughs> I just said something shocking. I think, I think if you said, yeah, Peter just, like, says the N-word, and it's, like, uncensored for the first time on, like, live TV, <laughs> that would have been just as shocking, Aiden. Probably. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. I got a new animation software, not animation, art software program. Yeah, he did, and it's pretty cool. It is pretty sweet. So it is pretty freaking sweet, Lois. Um, so since like fucking like seventh grade, when did I start? Fucking, it would have been on. It would have been yeah, like seventh grade. I started um digital art, and um, uh, 
I think I got Medibang just because you were using it, Silas. I yeah, think. I was using it at the time. And um, I, I used that up until like a week ago. Because um, like, I didn't want to learn a new... Okay, so I was using it and I was like, this is pretty sweet. Um, pretty freaking sweet. Um, th that was on my old computer. Then I got a new computer and I was not able to install it for some reason. Like, it didn't work with my computer and I was like, oh, that sucks. Now I could just like keep using um like or I, I i could learn a new software at this point or i could um uh just keep using my old computer i didn't want to learn a new software so i just kept using my old shitty ass computer and i made all of like the fps thumbnails like oh my god on that um so like i have like the one computer that we record on and then the other one that i make all the thumbnails on uh but i mean it would that that computer is so like horrible like it takes like probably like five minutes to, like fully start up and then like get rid of like all of like the evil like pop-ups that come up um it just like runs slow and shit um but i didn't want to uh learn a new anim uh i keep wanting to say animation i can't i didn't want to learn a new art program because i was just so used to medibang but um i uh i went to college recently as some of you know and i was like i don't want to take like the shitty computer i'll just bring like the nice computer and then figure it out um but i was like what what was the series of events it's literally I, I the other night i was literally just like okay i want to just be able to like make like art on this computer so i looked up like best like free art programs and um this one called Krita came up. Like, the, I watched this video. This is how the video goes. He's like, he's like, today I'm gonna be talking about the best like free art software. Here's an honorable mention. Uh, Medibang. It sucks ass. Sucks dick. It's horrible. Use Krita. It's really good. It's the best one. And I was like, okay. So I downloaded it, and um, that guy was right. Um, I think. Th uh, I feel like I just got out of an abusive relationship. <laughs> Cause like. Krita just uh, it it does what Medibang don't like. There's so many, um, like new brushes. The whole like thing is like built nicer. There's a bunch more shit you can you can like animate in it. There's like you can, like there's like a comic mode or something. Um, but like, it's like just like way better. And I'm still like learning like the different like I don't know quality of life fucking like ease of access things. Like I have to like hit like hit a uh, I don't know that kind of shit. Um. What was I gonna say? Um, my brain is like goo right now. I'm just like word vomiting. <laughs> I'm not actually like stringing like thoughts together. Uh, I will say I don't like. I didn't. I stopped using Medibang because yeah, you stopped using it years ago. Because of the uh, one good reason is because I don't think maybe you found it before I did, but I couldn't really find a way to do any different brushes. And then, like, the UI made it feel really, really constricting. Like, it felt really small for some reason. That and, like, it, it was just really weird to use, it felt, most of the time. Like, I didn't like using it. It just didn't feel good. Well, you use it on your phone, like, yeah. most of the time. And I use it on the computer most of the time. So I probably... It was probably just easier for me to use. Um, but, like... I, I, I guess I never mess. I never messed with, like, the brushes other than like the basic brush like most of the time and i would just like set it to different opacities or no i use this like the border br brush for a lot of stuff and um like every once in a while i would use one of the weird ones like the sparkle brush or um like rotation symmetry brush that kind of stuff um but like just the amount of shit that's on krita that's like super useful there is a brush that will draw mountains for you you just like you just like move it across the screen and now there's like a mountain range i'm kind of debating whether i should like use it or not because it's like like i didn't actually draw them but i don't know it's there's just like so much like stuff on there does it let you make custom brushes i don't know i want to i will say the one thing i don't like about ibis is that you like you, you can customize the brushes but you can't make your own custom one I kind of want to do that. So there's like there's there's like a bunch of like different like traditional like paint things. Like I made I drew that I I drew like the first picture I drew on there and I sent it to the group chat. You literally said you thought I made it on paper for a second. Yeah, it looked like it was like made with like paper for a second. It looked like your uh, your paper drawing. Cuz like there's just so many like options to like make it look like nice and traditional. 
um, with like, like you have like pencil brush and then like, like watercolor brushes, that kind of stuff. And it just like makes it look really nice. Um, and I like put it up against like my last like Medibang art that I did. And um, I'll throw it up on screen right here. You see on the left, that's the Medi last Medibang and on the right, it's the first Krita art. Um, I don't think one, like I don't, I don't think having like a nicer program will automatically make you better at art, but I think if you are, are already have like a, I don't know, I think just having more options will make the art feel more full is kind of what I think. Um, if you if you're like limited, like tool wise, you can make a good good art with fucking anything. But I think the more like options that you have at your disposal is usually just gonna like help um, make the art. I just feel more full overall, like the best way that I can describe it, like that. Yeah, my favorite thing to use for making art is shooting a stick, and you can, and you know how well I draw. Your shit, your shit on a stick art is pretty badass. It's pretty fucking good. You sh you like you like you shove your like the stick up your ass like how Christian like shoves up like the medallion up his ass and there's uh -huh. like shit on the end of the stick now. Uh huh. And then uh, you just like get like your big cave. You have like a cave like in your house basically, like yep. a cave wall. Shit and cave. And then you just brush stuff against it like a caveman. You guys know Jackson Pollock, like the splatter paintings. Aiden basic, Aiden basically like bends over and then like spreads his ass and like blasts shit all over the wall and you know does similar stuff like that. Only one, and, and it, you know he'll get like different diets, so it's like green, brown, that kind of it's, stuff. It's only one, you know, Mexican food. Like, yeah, splatter yeah. shit. But yeah. you, you know, yeah. he made like he makes like cool art of like you know like of like My Hero Academia characters on the wall and like he draws them like super good. He drew like Luffy. Like really good, like he splat, he splattered shit on the wall, and then he used like the stick to kind of like erase the shit away. So it look, it, so it looks like his face is in the shit. It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty great art. Not gonna lie. This is a good conversation. <laughs> he says he calls that technique the cannonball because he says he looks like a cannon when he does it. I feel like I just like came online. Like, I feel like I, I felt like. Like, I didn't exist for that whole, like, family guy thing, and I feel like I just now, like, regained consciousness. <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> what? The fucking shitting on walls brought you back to reality? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> what? Like, when I was, like, explaining digital art, like, I was just, uh, like, like, barely, like, stringing thoughts together, but I feel, I, feel, I just feel more awake now, I don't well, know. Well, like, the fucking Eminem, you step back to reality. Uh-huh. And you like to say ahoy before you do it too, right? Like uh, a pirate? Say ahoy! Ahoy me bucko! <laughs> That's how Aiden likes to do it. He never posts it though, because they just keep taking it down. So don't ask me. I, tr I tried calling it a chocolate painting once, but they knew it was shit. <laughs> Aiden, I like how uh, I posted that one thing in the community tab on uh, on the on the channel i don't think damien did you see I, I i saw it. i forgot what it was though it was like it was like uh like uh aiden's favorite games or whatever oh that's right uh, <laughs> it was like is it uh, fucked up that aiden 100 percent agrees with this that one was so good i didn't think, so good. I, didn't think I didn't think aiden was gonna look at it i didn't think he was gonna notice and then, and then he commented on it I said, uh, I said I do not condone this, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> forgot. Forgot about that. You forgot I could see that? I didn't think you would. I, I thought you would just scroll by it and just, like, not even notice. Speaking of YouTube, you know how shitty my phone is? Huh. So, I click on YouTube the other day, and it's like, Um, you need to update YouTube. We added more features to make it, uh, you know, uh, cooler. And so I click on, like, update, and whenever it takes me to the App Store, the App Store doesn't work. So I can't use YouTube now. Damien. Yeah. Just get a new phone. I don't have any money. Your birthday is fucking Saturday, right? Yeah. Do you have enough money to buy him a new phone for his birthday? I'll buy you a new phone for your birthday. My mom's already giving me a new phone. I already asked okay. her. Okay. <laughs> I like that image a lot. It's, uh, favorite protagonist is the guy from Hello Neighbor. <laughs> After work relaxation is Roblox. I like, I like all the, like, um, like, I hate but everyone else loves. <laughs> it's, like, really good games. 
Yeah, it's like Red Dead Redemption 2, our biggest letdown was Elden Ring. <laughs> and you would say that. You would play Elden Ring and be like, you know what? This is not a good... I don't know. I just wasn't... I'm like, not into Elden Ring. I tried it. I, this isn't no. as good as uh, Monster Hunter Gotcha Life on the PSP from three years ago. I do enjoy Monster Hunter more than Elden Ring. Yeah, but do you like the Gotcha one where they're all little chibi anime characters? I don't think that's real. You don't think that exists as like a little toy in like Japan? I don't think that... I don't think... You don't think you can get Rathalos as a little chibi guy? Not like in an app store. I said it's on like a little, like, you know, little device. Like a little, like, uh, what are they called? Tamagotchis or whatever? From yeah. like Japan? Yeah. The little, like, guys you take care of. I haven't seen it. They might exist. I don't know. <laughs> Big fan. Isn't there a, a Neon Evangelion, like, uh, like pinball machine? That There's a it? Neon Genesis Evangelion version of anything. There's, like, apartments that are themed around, like, Neon Genesis that you can fucking live in. And well, we're not living there? Yeah, why don't we live in those? <laughs> You're right. You know what? I don't even know what to think about the We're character. moving right now. I, I saw a video one time that was, like, how much of your life can you live, like, um... If all the things you can own are like Evangelion branded, and there's like literally like everything, there's fucking like coffee makers, um, like fucking like cars, like bus passports. How many of those are like official, and how many of those are just like Etsy? Most of them are official, like uh, like a f official like merchandise. It's like then you can yeah um propose to your spouse with the Evangelion ring, you know, that kind of thing. Aiden, we uh we should make a video where we take you to Japan, but only do like stuff related to uh, Evangelion. No, I haven't seen the series, and I don't care for it. You, you can be you, the Shinji. I don't want to be you dress, Shinji. You dress up like him. You go to the Evangelion. I don't want to be uh, Shinji. Ca I don't. I don't want to like, be Shinji. Can I get the the Osaka burger? I, I don't. I don't want to be Shinji. You'd be the closest one to us to be I don't, Shinji. I don't, I don't, I don't like a, that, Silas. I'll get a Ray soda. Thank you. Damon, you can be uh, Damon. You can be uh, Asuka. I can be Ray, and then uh, we can like follow in around the whole time. Can oh, I be yeah. Michael Bay's Shinji? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? It's a fucking video. It's a video. It's fucking great. Silence. Aiden, you can. I be... wish the series was like that. <laughs> Aiden, you can be Shinji, and you can do the hospital scene. You know what's funny about Evangelion? Don't want to do the <laughs> hospital scene, Silas. You know what's funny about Evangelion is um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> that hospital thing threw me off. You've tried to make us watch the show like three times. I no, I no, no he only, that wasn't me. That, Rain was, said they wanted to watch it, and we just watched the first episode. And it was you guys watched. It was, the first oh, episode. I remember what it was. Okay, the whole like anime community. The whole joke is that like, oh, Shinji's a little bitch. It's like he's like fourteen. If if you, I, like everyone's like, she what is why does this guy just like go and fight all these like fucking evil like aliens and this giant ass robot? It's like literally not a big deal. And it's like if you were in this situation, I think you would say it differently. I just think that's really funny. No, I don't think that's true. If we were 14, we would jump at the opportunity. I still. would I would fucking own that back. We would, we your, would da your, da your, your dad would be like, like Aiden, get get in the... What do they it call would, it? It would be his dad. <laughs> what do you mean it would be my dad? Because that, that's like, in the show. <laughs> his dad makes, it makes him get in the robot. Oh my god. Get what, in the robot, Aiden. What are they called? Don't they have names? Like the robots? The big robots? Vex? I don't know. Oh, Angels? I don't no, know. That's the bad guys. That's the bad guys. Oh. Say it. Ava one? That's what it's called. I'm gonna, like, I'm, if, I'm gonna name mine BT. Because <laughs> type. You're gonna name it Yellow Jacket and you're gonna make it look like the Transformer. <laughs> <laughs> what? His name is Bumblebee. Oh, man. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Damien, were you for real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about the, the Honey Nut Cheerios villain. <laughs> you fucking can't be serious. <laughs> Damien. I'm not a fucking Transformers fan. Look, I was just like, everyone a, knows Bumblebee. He's a B one. What's his name? Everyone Yellow knows Jack? Bumblebee. <laughs> There's two everyone knows. It's Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Look, man. Transformers came out like 10 years ago. It was made by Michael Bay. I was thinking about just watching all of the like Michael Bay movies. That might be just nice like brain rot material. My, my manager said she wants me to watch a movie and like not have it shown on screen at all, but I have to describe the entire movie. What? So, so you have to you have to like listen to a movie? And no, she it? wants she wants me to watch a movie, but like the people aren't watching with me. It's just me describing what's happening in the movie. <laughs> oh, so you've got like you're playing movie telephone. You've got like VR yeah. headset and like and like headphones on. You're standing in front of like a bunch of people like sitting on a couch looking at you, and you're like, okay, um, 
Um, Legolas so, just went over the hill. He said the the hobbits are t- being taken to Isengard. Okay, now just cut to Frodo and Sam. All right, so this is Dog, and uh, he, he's uh, running really fast, and he's uh, dragging the scooter behind him. And uh, and then he stops in the middle of the street and goes, Bark, and it causes an earthquake, killing thousands of people. What movie is that, Silas? I wasn't paying attention. I just heard earthquake. Wait, 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 wait. I know what it is. It's animated, right? Yes. Uh, what's it called? Bolt! Yeah. Yes! All right, we're going to do another one. You guys ready? Yeah. Sure. All right, um... <clears throat> There's this kid peeping on his uh, creepy neighbor who stole this child's bicycle. Oh, oh monster! Nice. <laughs> Good job, Silas. All, All right. right, I got one for fuck, you. Fuck, fuck. All right. All right, so there's like an orchestra playing, and uh, there's a there's a cool old man playing a you know like a he's playing like a cello. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of apples fall from the sky and start uh, hitting people and turning them gray. And then uh, uh, uh yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Yeah, David got it. I haven't seen Yellow Submarine. Because you're a fucking pussy. You <laughs> fucking bitch. Got cum on your lip? Not a John fan? I don't remember where this joke started, but me and my friend Abel used to do this joke all the time where, um... <laughs> yeah! Where, where we... Where, you, uh, okay, this is like the joke. It was like, Aiden, what would you do? You're like, you know, you're walking along one day, you're in like the woods, and then um, you trip on like a, a branch, right? And you fall down a hole. And um, This is Undertale. Fall, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole... You, you just like put... You'd be like, all right... You're you're doing this and that happens and you just like explain like a plot to like a movie or something or, or a game until the person's like wait what hey oh, hold on this is yeah <laughs> didn't we do it to Caden once for Undertale and he like got so like really far in <laughs> like he he got further than like we thought he would yeah he got to like Sands or something yeah <laughs> he was like wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> He turned his uh, he turned his turtleneck around. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> the way, the way he said. <laughs> hey, wait, is so, this so, something ain't right here. Hey, uh, I like that bit. Guys, if we get one like on this video, we'll replay the Undertale dating sim. No, <laughs> I wonder if it's still up anywhere. You guys can play it. Do you think it's been I'd updated not. by now? I hope it has it. I hope the whole game exists. You know, I hope they got the whole game in there. Yeah, they finally finished a whole bunch of like Undertale, uh, like fan games recently. I hope that's one of them. I hope yeah, we could play that one game you you guys want me and Caden to play. We have to figure out a way to play it because um. You need to buy it, and Damien doesn't want it on his Steam <laughs> profile. He doesn't want he doesn't want Abel to like uh like you know like go on the place of last and see Damien playing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not like on itchy or anything. What game is it? Oh, no, don't worry about don't, it. Tell me the game. It'll come out when it comes out. I want to know the game. No, because then you can go look it up and then... And I'm then not going to look it up. Why do you want to know what it's called? I don't, to be <laughs> fair, I don't I don't even know like, the exact phrasing of what the title is. I, I just. I know. I'm not saying it, though. <laughs> what is this? You'll, you'll find out. Maybe we'll play <laughs> it today. Maybe we'll play it today if you buy it for $10. And hey, have it on your Steam account. Yeah, we can put it on your Steam account, Aiden. Sure. And then Lorenzo will talk to you and be like, "Hey, hey, uh, uh, I, I saw you were on this game the other day." Do you day. need to talk? <laughs> what game is this? <laughs> you'll you'll find out. And it's, it's bad enough that if, if if anyone knows what it is and they see you playing it, they're gonna think something's wrong with you. Why? What kind of game is this? <laughs> now I don't want to play this game. Well, that's what makes it funny. You guys are making this sound worse and worse. Hey, this is like the new Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, we should get, we, have we told that story? No. I don't. Th- I think we mentioned it like loosely a few times, but we haven't told it entirely. So, um, back in the old <laughs> FPS days, the old era, um, we recorded like a fuck ton, but we never like. There's a lot of stuff that we never released for whatever reason. Um, some of it we just got lazy, but some of it got um corrupted, and one such. One such event was Doki Doki Literature Club. You see, Caden had never played the game. He had no, he had like no idea that the game was like a fucking horror game in disguise. He never watched the Jack Jacksepticeye play through. Yeah, he never watched Jack Jacksepticeye or you know, um, uh, but Game Grumps or anyone play it. Um, and so we got it, and uh, we recorded us playing like, was it eight hours we were playing that game? Just- I think that was it. it took, uh, okay, we had the game open for eight hours because there's no way that's eight hours of actual footage. I think it's just like 
we had the game open for eight hours. We did stuff between it. Okay. Like, like we'd play a little bit and then do something else. Well, we, we got to the point where one of the characters like hangs themselves. That's like the big uh, reveal that it's like not a, like a normal like dating sim. Um, and um, I don't think Caden's reaction was even that good. He was just like, ooh. <laughs> Oh, like, oh, what the fuck? oh no! I, I liked his uh, I liked his reaction throughout. His reactions, just, just like uh, just like why are we playing this? It's like, it's like, it, 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 it was definitely more than like an hour of us actually playing it, but it's, it was way longer than an hour. Uh, it was enough footage that when we like realized that it wasn't like, like unusable, I think we were like, a little a bit upset. Yeah, we were. But it was it was it was really funny just like seeing him because he hates anime stuff so like him. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what the fuck is this game? I don't think the video was even that good. Like it was just like us like trying to like speed run it and then yeah the, his like ultimate reaction was just like oh. <laughs> it was good though. It was funny. I liked it. I would have wanted it to be a thing, but oh well. The thing, the thing that bummed me out was like, e there's a possible chance that if I wasn't lazy, I could just like literally replay the game and just do what we did up till that point because it is just a visual novel. Just get an auto clicker. But then, then it's just like, well, you know, there's no point. We lost it. You know, it's fun that I think we should record. Oh. We should, we should record us doing a smash down. What? Oh yeah, I, I was thinking like Smash Bros. Yeah, Smash Bros. Bro, Smash Down. I was thinking each. Oh, when you choose a character, they're gone forever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, those are fun. That one's fun. I was, I was like thinking for a second. I was like, wait, what are you talking about, Smash Down? Are you gay? Forgot about that mode. I've been, I, I used, I used to be the, I used to be the the greatest Smash Brothers player in our friend group, and um, I'm, I, I retired, and I haven't played it in like, fucking three years. I feel like. I think I'm the one who plays it the most, and I only play it on holidays. I had all the I had all the D I had all the DLC right. All of the character, oh, the whole roster was a pocket pick right. But um, there was one mode on there, yeah, Smash Down, where you pick a character. It's it's like a tournament, but every time you use a character, you can't use that character for like the next round. So you have to like carefully like pick. No, like you can't use it for like the rest of the game. Oh yeah, that's right, the rest of the game. Uh, or like mode or whatever. And oh. it goes all the way till you get to like. Five characters left. Yeah, and then whoever had the most like wins wins. So it helps to like know more of the roster or like pick other people's characters so they can't play them. You know, you can, like, and then, choose like every else's other man. round we do a random character, random picks that way. You know, yeah, yeah. It keeps things fresh. Mm -hmm. That one, that that is really fun though. That would be a good idea. What are, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a bunch of fucking characters in Smash Bros. that I forgot existed. Like, uh, the other day I was like, King DDD is in Smash Bros. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> nah, that one makes sense to me. I, uh, I don't know, because I was like, oh yeah, Kirby's in Smash. Is he the only Kirby character? And I was like, no, fucking King DDD is in there. What the fuck? I th I'm sorry. I guess that, I, I mean, out of most Kirby characters, that makes sense. But I don't know. There's there's just so many characters that, like, I forgot, like, half of them were on there. I'm surprised there's not more Kirby characters. I mean, what a, uh, yeah, I mean, like, you you think there would be like what? Masahiro Squakurai is the guy who's making it, so <laughs> is, you, is you, it, you would think that he'd want. Is to Palutena a Smash character? Yeah, that's right. I was like thinking about it for a second. I was like, wait, is she in the game? Pit, Dark Pit, Palutena. And then, uh, you know, they only have like ten or eleven like Mario representatives, so I think they should get more. I think, yeah, I think we need to add, like, Goomba and, um, definitely, um... Hammer blo Brother blo and... Uh, blo blooper Fish, for sure. We need Fire Piranha Plant. Yeah, d yeah, definitely, yeah, Fire Piranha Plant. Um, uh, Spiny, I think would be a good pick. They do a, they, let's just do a whole Mario DLC wave. What do you, okay, you might riddle me this. What do you think's coming out next? Smash Brothers 5, uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate Deluxe, or no Smash game ever again? They're gonna make more because it is just insanely fucking popular. Mm -hmm. That's just what they would do. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. You know what I hope they do? Cause okay, they're not they're not gonna make another game on this scale. They're not gonna make another full new Smash game that has like all of the returning characters. It's either you know the, the it's either gonna be like a cut down roster with new people. Or on some other thing, but they're not. The, the Smash Ultimate's never gonna happen again. Like they're not gonna get all the rights to everybody. Yeah. More than likely, it's possible, but that most was, likely it's not that gonna was happen. Probably one-time thing. Most likely it's not gonna happen. Um, 
what I think they should do for for the switch for the the switch deluxe whatever, whatever it's called whenever that comes out they should just make smash ultimate deluxe and then just do like another like dlc pack or you know multiple d whatever that way we have the same roster with new characters and then you don't have to re-get all the rights again you probably you'd, you'd have to do some sort of negotiation just because you know you'd need everything but the new system but it would be easier you know how many uh, characters do they have for each dlc uh, the first one had five, the second one had six, and then the Piranha Plant was in there, too. He was separate. Let's just say six uh, for each one. Mm -hmm. Let's do a thing. We each get to add two Smash Fighters to this next DLC. This is the, the, so the Switch Deluxe. Uh, this is like the opening DLC thing. Uh, let's say they're not dropped one at a time. They're, they're all at the same time. So we each get to pick two characters. And, uh, you, know, we have, you know, we have the rules... Like, I think in our heads, like what what characters we're allowed to put and not put. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Damien, you start. You okay. One. Okay. All right. N Nintendo Direct is starting. The, the, you know, you have like the guy who's like, blah, 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 and then the he's speaking Japanese, and the voiceover is like, "Hello, welcome to the Nintendo Switch Two Direct. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, we're gonna have some cool games. Uh, that we're gonna be bringing back from the Switch uh, Deluxe. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, here's some here's some trailers. You fucking fucking idiot and then he goes you know and then okay um cinematic trailer of um link and mario fighting um so, uh suddenly the the heavens part the light shines down you hear you hear a battle coming from up ahead mario and link turn around jesus christ and goku are fighting and they're both added to the game isn't there a rule where it has to be a video game character, Damien? That's not my actual pick. All right, good. <laughs> I was thinking for a second, like, Damien, you're the one who, like, in insisted these were the rules, and then you forgot them instantly. <laughs> no, I don't think Goku should be in Smash. I think he should only be video game characters. The only... Okay, here's one of my... Captain N is going to be one of them. Yeah, because they will, they will, they will add, like, a uh, Rob, so... Yeah, um... They have the you know the Wii Fit. For those who don't know, Captain N was a fucking cartoon back in like the eighties. It was the first Smash Brothers, and it was a um, a cartoon of like like a Nintendo crossover thing. It had Kid Icarus, Mega Man, Zelda. Hit, sound familiar? <laughs> um, Punch Out was in there. Um, but yeah, I think Ca I think Captain N would be cool. He he, he wields the zapper. That would be his cool weapon. Mm hmm. Uh. You have to come back to me for my second one. Alright, Aiden. It's your turn. Alright, uh, my first pick. I've always said I've wanted this character in Smash Bros. For the trailer, right? There's gonna be. There's, there's gonna be like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, Kirby. He's just walking around like a little forest. And he hears. Rawr! Like a big fucking monster roar. And out comes a fucking Rathalos. That's not the pick. And Kirby, he's scared. He's a scared little guy. He goes, <gasps> he starts running away, gets chased down by Rathlos. And then suddenly, a man fucking wear, uh, wielding a sword and shield comes out of nowhere. Bam! Knocks the Rathlos out. It's the Monster Dragon Hunter, Quest. Baby. Oh, yeah, but, uh, Monster Hunter. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Monster Hunter, baby! I fucking all right. It's gonna be like Pokemon <clears throat> Trainer, but slightly different. They're down B. We'll switch like what weapons they are wielding, and like they all have like slightly different moves. It's like they, you got you got the sword and shield, you got the fucking great sword, and like the the the, the dual blades. Those those would be the weapons that I think would work. But you could you could like you could fucking go out there and choose like the hunting horn, which is a fucking cool ass weapon. You gotta have the great sword if you're gonna do Monster Hunter. And then another cool ass pick would be the fucking uh charge blade those would be great weapons any 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 of those sets would be fucking amazing all right i'm trying to think about how i want to go about it because there's characters i do want but there's also characters that would be funny let's say all right this one's just a likely one all right let's say uh we're seeing we're seeing you know the 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 mushroom kingdom right we're going by all the fields. It's playing the Mario music. Uh, Mario's walking around. It's uh instead of it actually being <laughs> being animated, it's just them like playing with the characters, like dolls, like the Piranha Plant one. Mm -hmm. It's going around the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, Mario's jumping around, and then uh, 
All of a sudden, somebody rolls out from the shadows. It's Gino from Super Mario yeah, RPG. Yeah, no yeah, way! Gino. Oh my god! Because uh, they just released a uh, fucking Mario RPG remake. So they do a thing where his uh his Mii Fighter costume comes to life. Yeah, they put the, the Mii Fighter costume on a character and they turn into the actual Gino. And then uh, Gino's added, and then guess what? The little, uh, the little Mallow guy, the little Cloud guy that you also get that uh, have in that game. He's like a, it's like it's like a, he's like a little helper. It's like a Rosalina and Luma. Oh my god! And then uh, oh my god! And then it's just Mario RPG. That's their thing. That's uh, that's that's my pick. Okay. Not because I like Gino, but because I feel like that's just likely. DLC, DLC number four. Um. Um. Sonic is in his apartment. He just came home from work. Uh, there's a big sign that says Sonic for Hire on the top. Yeah. Um, he uh, goes over uh, to his computer, uh, turns on his webcam, uh, gets a gets a gets a big handful of lotion. All of a sudden, the wall breaks down. Shadow, the ultimate life form, is like, "Hey, what's up?" Uh, and that's, that's what's up, Sonic. And then and then he's at it. <laughs> Shadow interrupts the goon sesh. <laughs> Ugh, disgusting creature, get out of my sight. And then he... And then disgusting he, cum creature. Disgusting... <laughs> Are you gonna finish all that? Uh, room for one more? Looks, go, like you're go, beating, looks like you're beating your meat. It's my turn. <laughs> Gooning all by yourself, handsome? Quick tangent because uh, th th this came out like just like today. There's a new game coming out called Sonic Generations X Sha or Sonic X Generation or Sa Sh Sh Sonic, Sonic X Shadow Son Generations, and uh, it's really funny because now when you look up Sonic X Shadow, you're not gonna get your cool Yaoi fan art. <laughs> Wait, they named it that? I just got the. Yeah. Oh, why? Why oh why'd you? Why'd you target me? Oh my god! Because you love Shadow. I don't. And you love. I Sonic. don't. <laughs> Second are fools. Yeah, but like they. Silas, so what's your second fucking DLC? It's your turn. I don't. I can't think. I of can't one. think of anything. It's your turn. You I can't think of one. Then put a funny one in. I can't think of one. Goomba. No. no. We already put Mario. Here. Hollow Knight. That's a good yeah, one. that's a good one. That's a good one. Hollow Knight's pretty good. All, all of his little uh, spells could be his his B moves. That'd be pretty good. Legitimately, like how he plays in the game would probably be how he would play. Yeah, yeah. That would be pretty good. I was gonna add an indie character, and now I have to figure. Out... No, I have to do something else. You stole my answer. You yeah. still do an indie character. No, no, no. I have, I have, I have a backup answer. So we have all these cool characters. I want to add one more. So, uh, all right. So we're in the we're in the Resident Evil One mansion. Uh, we're painting around, and then uh, they're adding the zombie. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 they add a random like tar zombie. Uh, Which Resident Evil is this? Uh, it's well, this is the Resident Evil One Mansion. Okay. That's like the map that they're they're gonna do. And I'm trying to think really wisely what would be the funniest Resident Evil character because, you know, most people would be like, oh, Leon Kennedy or uh, Chris Redfield, or Jill something. Valentine, just the, the Wesker. No no, 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 I'm not adding those characters. <laughs> We're gonna add the fucking uh, we're gonna add the fucking Duke from Resident Evil Eight. Yeah, he's gonna play like uh, like King K. Rule. <laughs> That's beautiful. He's sitting in his little cart the whole time. He's like Steve Minecraft, where he's like you know he's in, when he's in the minecart, he's like you know like whipping all around the the map like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Mario on his bike. It's like it's like Bowser Jr. But he's only in the cart. I thought you were gonna say um, what's the guy from Seven and Eight? Ethan Winters. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say that. You can't even see his face. Yeah, he's play. facing away from the camera the whole time. I thought you were gonna say uh, Lady Dimitrescu. No. No. I would never. I was also thinking <laughs> as a as a as a secondary one that would be kind of funny would just be like the dad from uh, Resident Evil Seven. I was also gonna think you're gonna say that one too. That would be cool if you could play as uh, I forget his name, but the baker, and uh, he's just in his car and he's shirtless the whole time. He kicks, uh, he kicks Kirby and says, "Welcome to the family." <laughs> Welcome to the family. Right in. Right, round off this DLC. This is the final. He did. Wait, you did too already? Yeah, he yeah. did. Uh, he did. Uh, all night. Oh, that's right. So we have all of our characters. They end. They, yeah, they end the DLC on Duke. It's like, all right, this is the last DLC character that we will ever be getting. Hope you like it. <laughs>
people would be fine with that. <laughs> people would not. Dude, people would fucking go to rampage. All right, let's think. Let's think, let's think this close. Let's think this through. Like, how what would be the fan reaction to all these characters? We have a. So the first one was Captain N. Captain I think I feel that like that would be one of those people where ha like half the people are like, "Who is this character?" But everyone who knows would be like, "Yes!" Like, oh my god, that's a pleasant surprise. That's a good way to open it. Uh, and then Aiden, you said the Monster Hunter character. I feel like most pe pe people would be down for that. I think, I think people would like be like uh, they would either be like cool or they would just like not care. Since Monster Hunter is already in Smash, I think most people do want like a Monster Hunter guy. Like, yeah. like there was a Monster Hunter outfit, but there was no like actual Monster Hunter like character. character. Spirits. And no, there's spirits. Oh. I oh wait, like no, there wasn't. You're fucking right. There was like, the Wrath of the Spirit. No, I don't even think that's in there. I think that it's literally not in there. All right. I might be wrong. But um. But I, I also imagine like the different costumes could like like the different like colors could like also change like different armor sets between male and female, you know? So you have like male Rathalos and then female Rathian. Yeah. And then like a male like this this armor set, female this armor set. Like like know? like Steve Minecraft. Like Steve Minecraft. Yes. 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 Okay, for Gino that, that that has a few I think that has a few caveats. I think okay. people would be hyped for so Gino. So many people have been asking for Gino for so many years. That's like the, uh, like him and like Sora are like the two like top people, I think. But because he's added, that means Waluigi is not going to be added. And that's just going to make that, you know, that one subsection, they're going to be even better. I don't think people care anymore. At this honestly. point, I feel like people don't really care about the Waluigi. I care still. I care. I care only because of the sake of completion. It'd be cool if we had all like the Mario Party characters in Smash. But, uh... I think Gino is a cool idea. Gino's a better idea. I, I would rather have Gino than yeah. Waluigi. Yeah. I, I, we, I, we I already, think if Waluigi gets his own game first. Because we already have, like, uh, like, how how would Waluigi even play in the game, you know? He would probably be Mario's, like, Mario spinoff game themed. Which, like, I don't know, could be interesting if they do it right. I think it's the idea, it's just because it's really weird that they have all these like Mario characters and then like you know like, looking at all of them it kind of makes sense Koopalings yeah sure uh, Peach Daisy yeah sure Dr. Mario doesn't make sense but he was like a gag character from yeah. like the get go anyways but then like Piranha Plant people are confused because like why the fuck do they add Piranha Plant of all I hope Mario, they never bring he can do Plant. tricks he can be Dr. Mario alright then uh, what was after that what was my oh Shadow yeah people want Shadow people want Shadow uh, but like, how would he play distinct from fucking Sonic? Or would he be he, I think he'd he be... would. He would be uh, kind of like Joker, I think, with a gun. They'd make him play like Shadow and Shadow the Hedgehog, probably. They'd probably make him that different. <laughs> Can you see all of me? Uh, Hollow Knight. I feel like people would be hyped for that one. That yeah. would be that would be huge. That would be like super huge because then that means any indie character could be added to Smash. Uh huh. Which would be pretty cool. I don't know, I... Let's see. Shovel Knight's a assist trophy. Other than Shovel Knight... Like, Shovel Knight, like, Shantae, and then... Um... Hollow Knight, I, feel, I like... I, like, any of those three I, would be, like, the perfect, like, indie pick. I think... I, when it comes to likelihood, I think Undertale... An Undertale oh, character yeah. <laughs> is, is slightly more likely to be in than uh, uh, some of those. Just because of the fact that they meant... They're adding... De they're gonna add Deltarune Chris to the next one. Oh, I wouldn't be mad about that. I think people would, but I... I, I think, think most people... I think because... <laughs> that would be a weird one for me. I'm like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> like, that's, like... Yeah. Deltarune isn't as popular as Undertale, so it wouldn't make sense. I like Deltarune more, but I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I, I would rather have somebody else. I'd be... It depends on how they play. I would want to see how they played. Alright, and then, uh, the last one was... Uh. Uh, the Duke, the Duke from Resident Evil. That is the that is the controversial one. That is the one that make everyone pissed. Because by. not only okay, <laughs> if they added like a if they added like a Resident Evil like Leon Kennedy or uh, Chris Redfield, how do you think people would feel? They'd yeah, be, okay, okay, yeah. They'd be like that, that, that's kind of that's cool. pretty sweet. That's like uh, that's actually pretty cool. That's like on the same tier of people who want like Duke Nukem or Doom Slayer or uh, like, yeah. uh Master, Master Chief. Chief. But uh, this is the Duke. And he plays like a cartoon character. I think this would be like the Byleth of this game. I don't think so. I don't think that's going too far. Because you know what Byleth. You think came people out. want the Duke more than a than a Fire Emblem character? Yes. 
No. I think people oh. want the Duke more than a fire. I think character. people would be confused. I feel like every people would be like, "Why? Why did they add this?" <laughs> Just like Byleth, they'd be like, "Why did they add another fire emblem character?" Okay, I know? think people were more angry with Byleth, but I think people would be like way more like confused and frustrated <laughs> with the Duke. I think what the reaction to the Duke would be would be like, "All right, they'd be like," I think they would be like they would be confused and upset because he's like you know he's like the final character that they ended on it wasn't it, it, it feels like a little unceremonious when they actually play the game though they will, like, oh they'll my say, god they will be guys like, it'll be like the the the, the gif of a uh, of a uh, of a uh, what's his name danny devito like with a tear in his eye his oh my game's god like, i, I get it <laughs> people people will understand when they get to play him i think he will be like a, a fan favorite from that point on and then the and then, you know, that opens up the opportunity later to add more <laughs> Resident Evil characters. Uh, add Rose next. <laughs> ja ja That's when people would... That, I think if they did that, that would make people legitimately mad. Yeah. Jar Rose. But I think, uh... I think, yeah, I think the Duke... I think that's a perfect pick. I think it's a good one. Well, guys, do we have anything else to talk about? I was gonna say, should we add Final Smashes to the characters? That's a final. That's a funny thing. Yeah. As, the, as the final thing we talk about. Yeah, sure. All right. What is what is what is Captain in Final Smash? Do? I don't fucking know. <laughs> he has the zapper. He does, that would be in his regular move. So he does, he does a really he does a really cool sick zapper combo on you. Yeah, he like he shoots like a giant bullet like the Mario flame attack. What yep. would monster? I was thinking. Be? I was thinking more of like a like a. Like a Persona Five Joker kind of like Final Smash for like the for a Captain N, where he just fucking goes all out on you. He gets the other Captain N people in it. <laughs> all right, uh, uh, Monster Hunter Final Smash. It's got to be the Dragonator. It's this big ass fucking spike. They're gonna be like, the, the, like the Fifth Fleet Admiral is gonna be like, get the Dragonator ready. And they're gonna set up like this big old thing. The Monster Hunter's gonna flip this lever, and a big old spice gonna come out and impale whoever whoever's on the other side of it. Dude, the Dragonator's so fucking cool. I want I want us to play that game. Oh, dude, it's such a fun game. All right, silence. I think, uh, what's, uh, what's, 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 Gino, 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 uh, I think Gino would probably just get one of his, like, epic movesets from the game, I don't think it would be anything too, too epic, it would just be alright, they give Shadow a really weird one, you know, like, they have, like, every once in a while they have, like, the really weird, um, like, Final Smash that doesn't, like, make any sense, yeah, where it's just, like, like, like Luigi, like, like, make an inverted circle, <laughs> Like like the yeah like the the Egyptian Luigi dance it's yeah. like what the fuck it's like the uh, uh, I don't know like shadow, um, I don't fucking know my shadow shadow moves so fast everyone moves in slow motion. I'm out of ideas. That's what happens. Shadow shadow's final smash she goes go super super shadow and everything moves really slow because he's moving super fast. All right, Aiden, what would be Hollow Knight's? Uh, just like a Cloud Strife kind of like a Final Smash, where like he dashes and like goes combo. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. The Duke's Final Smash. Let's see what's a good thing from that game that would be interesting. He gives everyone else a shotgun. Uh, oh. His would be like a, it'll be like a, what's it, like Kirby's, where uh, you can cook with the, with the Duke in it uh, in the game. So he'll just get a giant cauldron and then force everybody in his radius into a cauldron and cook them. Then he gains health from it. That that will be his. All right, guys. Well, guys, I hope you like our lineup for um for Smash for Smash Six for for, for Smash Ultimate Deluxe. This is gonna be real. And then uh, if you are you in the comments, we're gonna block you know you know no, no no you know what. Smash Six. The, this isn't Smash Ultimate Deluxe. This is Smash. The new game. It has the base roster from Smash 64 plus these guys, and that's the <laughs> that's the whole that, and that's the whole the whole roster. They're not coming out with anyone else. Yeah, no. That would be so <laughs> horrible. You could play as like you know you like they they get rid of all the Castlevania characters. They get rid of all of the fucking like Final Fantasy stuff. They call they call, this game is called uh, Smash Generations. Smash Generations. That sucks. Well, guys, hope you like our game. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, playing my game. Thank you so much for to listening Thank to our so funny much. podcast. See uh, you. And, and, this, and and this out on a, on a little Diddy. Uh, Diddy Kong shoots his uh, his uh, peanut thing and then it kills someone. The end. Are you gonna click end?
No, I was just gonna sit here for a while, I think. Alright. 